Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll dive into Amazon Guard Duty, AWS threat detection service that continuously monitors for malicious activity and unauthorized behavior to protect your AWS accounts and workloads. Guard Duty uses machine learning, anomaly detection, and integrated threat intelligence to identify and prioritize potential threats. It analyzes tens of billions of events across multiple AWS data sources, such as AWS CloudTrail, Amazon VPC flow logs, and DNS logs. Let's get started to enable Guard Duty. I'll log into the Guard Duty service in the AWS Management Console. Click Get Started. On the welcome page, click Enable Guard Duty. That's it. Guard Duty is now activated for your account. Since Guard Duty might not show any findings in a new account, let's generate some sample findings to explore. In the left navigation pane, click on Settings. Scroll down to Sample Findings. Click Generate Sample Findings. Guard Duty will create a group of sample findings that represent common security issues. With multiple findings, you'll want to know how to filter them effectively. On the Findings page, notice the Filter bar at the top. Click Filter Findings. You can filter by attributes like severity, finding type, or resource type. Let's try filtering for only high severity findings by selecting severity and choosing equals high. Now you get a list of high severity findings. Let's examine one of these sample findings. Click on the S3 public anonymous access was granted finding. This sample shows what you'd see if an S3 bucket was granted public anonymous access. It may indicate a configuration mistake or that your credentials are compromised. And notice details like severity level, affected resource, and finding creation timestamps. Now let's learn how to archive findings. Select one or more findings from the list. Click the Actions, drop down, and choose Archive. Archived findings are removed from the active list, but can be viewed later. To view archived findings, click on Status Filed on the filter and select Archived. You can unarchive findings by selecting them and choosing Restore from the Actions menu. Archiving is useful for managing findings you've already addressed or false positives. And there you have it. You've successfully set up Amazon Guard Duty, generated sample findings, and learned how to investigate, filter, and archive potential security threats. Remember, while we looked at sample findings today, Guard Duty continuously monitors your account for real threats, providing an essential layer of security for your AWS environment. For those who want to dive deeper, I've included a link in the video description to the official AWS user guide on getting started with Amazon Guard Duty. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more AWS tutorials. Thanks for watching.